Hey guys, it's your girl BA here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like 75 years since I've actually posted a video. I've been crazy busy. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I cut my locks. Um, I decided to cut my locks because it was getting a little bit too long. I wanted to change it up. Um, it was starting to pull and, and you're going to pretty much see it in this video. Alright guys, so let's get into the video. Alright guys, so you can see the first step I pretty much did is put my hair into a high bun. Um, this is so that I could get the rest of the hair that I have to cut later on out the way. Um, I started with the back. Um, as you can see, I was pulling the hair down, so or pulling the locks down so that I can make sure that it's completely even. And then pretty much I get start with cutting. Now, the scissors that I do have is just regular like fabric scissors, um, which is not the best because um, people said that you should get shears, but I was in Walmart and that's pretty much all they had and I really didn't feel like going anywhere else. So yeah, that's pretty much what I, what I got. Um, the plus side, it says the scissors are supposed to be very sharp and you know, I you know, think that may be good for here. I don't know, I'm not an expert or anything like that. So as you can tell, I'm pretty much um, cut the first portion. I, I guess you could say I went from um, left to right, you know, cutting my hair and everything like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just see how the rest of this goes. All right guys, so this is just a little close up that I did. Um, you want to make sure, and I'm sorry that I uh, move forward, but you want to make sure that you pull the hair all the way down and that you're using a prior strand or a prior lock um, to cut the next one because you want to make sure everything is nice and even. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure everything is nice and you know even going across so that pretty much nothing is really much longer than the next lock because then you know I have to pretty much cut that lock that's long. Now guys, um, pretty much I'm just trying to figure out here, um, obviously I am recording this later on after I recorded the video. Um, at this point I was just trying to figure out, okay, what length I wanted to be, if I wanted to be a little bit more shorter, if I wanted to be a little bit longer. Um, I knew that I wanted to get off as much of the hair that was starting to break off as possible. So, you know. I just kind of just went with it as I was cutting my hair. Um, I really, I had an idea so-so in my head, but um, I actually, you know, this, this me cutting my hair right now, it's a, a little bit longer than what I thought that it would be. So yeah, um, I mean, I guess a good idea would be to look online and see pretty much how short you would want your locks to be um you know um i just would probably say that um it may not come exactly or come out exactly as you may see it in the picture so yeah so now you can see guys um with the i'm actually obviously going up um so i could cut the next locks when I was watching this last video, um, one of the young ladies actually had her locks come out straight from her head and it kind of gave it like a, a little bit more of an ankle cut rather than it just being like a straight cut. So as you can see, that was what I was doing before. 
um, and just making sure that I am angling it from my head um, and then cutting the lock. So now I'm just trying to make sure that I'm using a lock that I've already cut to cut the next lock so that everything is nice and even. All right, guys so yeah I started to get a little bit confident <laughs> with the whole cutting situation um so obviously I've also speed up the video as well too but I was kind of like all right this is what it is the other locks are cut so let me just continue cutting the other ones you know um yeah so as you can see I became a little bit confident with the scissors um maybe a little bit too confident I'm not sure <laughs> All right, guys, so here is where I am showing the breakage. Like, guys, look, it, it was bad. Like, my hair has been seriously breaking up so bad. Um, Honestly, literally, some of my locks, before I cut it, you can literally pull on the strand and the ends will break off. So, I'm not 100% sure why. I'm not sure if it's my hair is dry. Um, I really don't know, but... 
yeah the breakage is bad that was the reason or that was the top of the reasons or one of the top reasons let me speak accurate english um <laughs> of the reason why i cut my some um sorry tongue tie the reason of why i cut my locks was because of the breakage the breakage was getting really bad So this mirror came in handy. Basically, I used it to um, look at the back and make sure that I was comfortable with the cut and that I didn't see any locks that were remaining that weren't cut. Then I was like, you know what? I wanna put my hair into a ponytail. I just wanna see um, how long the ponytail is um, because I do wear ponytails a lot. Um, as well as I just wanted to make sure that the hair didn't really pull um, especially like when I'm driving because that's when it bothers me the most is when I'm when I'm driving like it's really bad so yeah guys that is pretty much it as you can see you see my alfalfas those are my locks that have broken off or I've cut and they're starting to grow back um and lock up so i hope you enjoyed the video guys talk to you in the next one bye